Also tonight, any adult could buy or grow marijuana in Oregon if a new campaign gets enough support. K2 Susan Harding is live now in Northeast Portland where the effort to legalize pot to kicked off. And Susan, we've done a lot of stories on the possible legalization of marijuana. Does this one have more teeth to it? Is it different? What's the deal here? Well, this time they say they have the surveys to back them up that they say show that people want this. Now, you would not need an Oregon medical marijuana card. You would just need to be 20 years old or older to walk into a state licensed store and buy marijuana if this goes through. Now, to get the measure on the November 2012 ballot, supporters need to collect enough signatures. We found the campaign manager near the Lloyd Center today asking people if they would support legalizing marijuana, they have plenty of time, needing to collect 90,000 signatures by July of 2012. For or against it, we found most people have a definite opinion. And I think people are more angry when they drink beer than it is when they actually smoke marijuana, so I think probably chill out more people. If we have a bunch of druggies everywhere, I don't think that, that will help the society in any way. Well, besides legalizing the drug, the measure would also allow Oregon farmers to grow marijuana and hemp. Now, tonight at 6, why supporters think that the state's budget troubles will help them get enough signatures and eventually to pass on the ballot. Live in Northeast Portland, Susan Harding, K2 News. I can hear that viewer's voice phone ringing off the hook. As we I can too, right now. You can, Susan. Thank you. I want to know what you think about this. Our K2 web poll question, do you support relaxing Oregon medical marijuana laws to make it easier for adults to grow and use marijuana? Go to KATU.com to vote on it. We'll share the results coming up on K2 News at 6 o'clock tonight.